Okay, uh, good morning. Switch over. Okay. Well, uh, I was uh, browsing Reddit and I saw a pretty good, uh, saw a pretty good question here. <clears throat> Why is Final Fantasy XIV your favorite MMO? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's my all-time greatest favorite MMO, and no other MMOs matter to me anymore. Either. Nothing like that, but. It is one that I play the most. I mean, I grew up. I, mean, I grew up on RuneScape, and it's <clears throat> so. I mean, that I got. I still got all the love in the world for that game. I mean, it. It's pretty. It pretty much kindled my interest in uh, in the MMOs. So, but uh, this Final Fantasy fourteen is the one I play the most, and it's pretty much the only one I play now. Um, and one of the reasons why it's my favorite. Uh, for one, level sync. Unlike WoW, that I used to play for like four and a half years, <clears throat> uh, there is, I don't, at least through most of the content, it's level synced. When you get into end game content, then they start turning into WoW dungeons where you can out, you can grossly out gear the content. You know, tanks no longer matter anymore because, you know, healers can probably heal through, you know, healers can probably solve all the place and heal themselves. DPSers can probably. You know, kill monsters so quickly before they even take a lot of damage themselves. That you know, because they grossly out gear it. You know, nobody really, none of the roles really matter in that kind of, none of the roles really matter in that kind of content. But whereas, um, it was one of the re that was one of the reasons why I quit playing WoW because I got sick and tired of it. You know, I try to tank a dungeon and I got to contend with people. I got to contend with raid geared people who. Out gear of the dungeon by like almost a hundred item levels. They just you know treat me like I don't exist, you know. And you can't say you pull it, you tank it, because more often than not they can't. So it was one of the reasons I quit playing. And it's also reason one of the reasons why this Final Fantasy XIV is my current favorite. Um, reason number two, crafting. I know what I'm in RuneScape definitely, and in WoW. And WoW also, they're basically assembly line crafting is what it is. You know, you just, you click on an anvil or click on a forge or whatnot and you you type down how many you want of iron bars you want to make. You type down 25 and you just sit back and watch it make, you know, watch yourself make the 25 bars. In Final Fantasy 14, it's a game within a game. It, it's 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 I mean, oh, how can I put it? There's there's it's more it's one of the biggest. Hang on, I'm having trouble finding the words. It's probably the biggest piece of evidence that there's more to the, there's more to it than just hack and slash. I mean, if nothing else, if combat doesn't interest you, you could practically make a career just on crafting. It, it's it's that good, and I'm one of those that I'm not a I'm not I'm not a pure hack and slash person. I mean, I played Diablo three for some odd months, but even then, I got burned out on it. And that's why I'm playing Final Fantasy fourteen right now. But um, but that's reason number two. Mm -hmm. Can't think of another reason, but I guess to highlight this one. What would you change? I guess mine would be like little tiny nitpicks. Uh, like for one, say put put a mining guild in all the major cities and not just in Olga. I mean, it doesn't make much sense. You can mine stuff in uh, Limsa. You, <clears throat> you can mine stuff in that third area, I don't know the name of it, the symbols are yellow, yellow with a spear or whatever in the middle, you can, you can mine in there, I mean, it just doesn't, you know, I mean, it doesn't make, it doesn't make much sense having a, a Kilinarian guild only in Limsa, you can cook anywhere in the game, you know, I mean, I mean, granted, you know, maybe have, 
Lindsay give you a, a little bit more of a bonus if you if you cook stuff in their kitchen and not an older or stuff something like that but it, it that was I mean that wouldn't really matter much now now that I'm towards the end game and you know I can fly everywhere I can pretty much teleport anywhere but when you're leveling up and you don't have much money you know you know having to mine everything you need and way out in Limsa or Gridania that's the word that's the third place I'm looking for you know when you have to go mine everything you need in Gridania and you gotta, you gotta but you gotta teleport way over here to Ulda just to turn in your quest and it don't make much sense so um, that'd be one thing I'd like to change just put the guilds in all the major cities not just one um, another thing I'd probably change knocking down the uh, global cooldown from uh, two and a half seconds to one and a half or maybe even two but you know, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want to knock it down to like one second or anything like that but maybe like a second and a half to two seconds you know kind of speed things up a little bit um let me think what else? what are their small changes I want to say uh, the way they do the glamour maybe have a it just too much of a pain in the butt like <clears throat> you know you want to change headgear but in order to do it you have to have this one little specific prism no other prism would work it just has to be this particular one you know maybe maybe do what they do with the uh, material melt do like material melders how about have glamour makers there's you know glamour maker vendors that you can pay money to to have your gear change it over you know or something like that I mean, it's a little, too much trouble otherwise um I'm racking my brain right now I guess what I could probably do is just Go on the go on down the line here and let me highlight this. Uh lore in this game, I guess that would I wouldn't I would want to say the lore in it doesn't really impress me much. Uh especially the uh especially the dialogue. I mean if if you didn't have that skip cutscene option, I'd go nuts. Click 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 click. You don't try to skip through all that combo they're having. I mean, it's like, it's like a, it's like reading Atlas Shrugged by Anne Rand. You know, one person could one person could have this fifty page, you know, fifty pages of conversation just that one person talking. You know, I, you know, yes, you know, flip 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 flip. Oh my God, he's still talking. Flip 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 flip. Damn, he's still chatterboxing away. Flip 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 flip. You know. I guess one thing I'm probably uh clean up the convo a bit. You know, not have not try to do such long drawn out paragraphs. Um otherwise the uh, the lore in the game I don't I don't care for it, but I don't I wouldn't couldn't think of anything else better without them turning into more and more like wow. Which the lore in that game I do like. Um if you ever read a book called Rise of the Horde, awesome book. I think I've read that thing about a umpteen zillion times. But the lore and the lore and WoW, and I'd probably say the lore and RuneScape as well. I I'm more into those than I am into the lore and Final Fantasy. But it's it's more of a personal thing, though. I don't I wouldn't hold any grudges against somebody who wouldn't agree with me. Love how tanks work in this game. Um, that's a corollary to, uh, level sync. I can actually tank in this game. At least through most of the content. Like the, the main scenario stuff. Uh, Praetorium, Castrum. Um, the level 50, 60 dungeons. Where the light, the eye level sync is too generous, if it even exists. I mean, those I don't do. Those are basically wild dungeons to me. 
I'm pretty sure when I get into the level 70 Stormblood stuff, I don't, I haven't really looked at the, uh, what kind of high level things they have, if any, but if it's anything like the previous expansion, I'm probably not going to be doing those, except unless they're storyline related, but otherwise, for the most part, I like how tanks work in this game because they actually can tank. They aren't absurdly weak or boring. Whereas in WoW, it was almost the flip side. They were actually too powerful for the content they were running. Um, uh, not a fan of that. I mean, I get it's a Japanese game, but but I mean the the fashion sense it kind of goes over my head. So I guess one change I'd probably make is uh. Add some uh, more grittier, grittier equipment sets. Make the men look manly. You know, big shoulder pads with big spikes sticking up. You know, or, hang on. I got, I got, I got the perfect. If I can find it, one moment. Have gear that makes them look look more like this. You know, like like Guar, like. Gear like I mean, looks like that were pretty commonplace in WoW. Um, Runescape I can't, I can't really remember, uh, but it, it's a, it's a Runescape's not a graphically intense game. You can play it in your browser, so they can't get too grandiose with their gear. But you know, I'd, I'd love to see more of that kind of gear in Final Fantasy. But I don't, I don't think that's gonna happen though. But you know, hey, he's asking. It makes us. That uh, goes over my head. That just has Final Fantasy nostalgia sprinkled everywhere. Almost too much for me. It always brings me. Maps suck a lot and look extremely kind of similar. Though beautiful still, they serve. Yeah, and they. Yeah, and they kind of rectified it in Stormblood. Now they are trying to find out. Uh, oh, let me look at that again. The maps don't really have a problem with them. That one goes over my head. Map events like Odin appearing aren't frequent enough. I probably have to agree with that one too. That would be one one change I'd also like to see. More of these. Um, to my knowledge, uh, that's the only place where that occurs. Um, over in North Shroud, I forget the name of the weather condition, but when you see the whole area just turn super dark and kind of starry. That means Odin's in the area, but I'd like to see more stuff like that. There it is. I don't like how I see more people in town than in game. You're gonna have to get used to that, bud. Every MMO I played, that that's how it was. You know I mean, people, you know, big old throngs of people, you know, swarmed in town, but not really a whole lot at all in the field. I mean. RuneScape was like that, uh, WoW was like that, and uh, Final Fantasy XIV is like that too. Not much you can do there. And this I could, I could kind of agree with, but I'm also a firm believer that more functions mean more malfunctions. I mean, he's if you ever played uh, Diablo, no, not the first one, Diablo 2, and probably an early WoW when they had their skill trees as well. Um, you could, uh, I mean, yeah, it, it made your classes more versatile. You know, they, they looked less the same, but it also complicated things. 
you got you know, you pretty much had to go on a you had to go on a website to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do or what what you're what you're putting what you're supposed to put your skill points in and stuff. Whereas at least when um in this game and um I mean Diablo three as well where they just kinda streamline everything. I mean it, on one end yeah it makes everybody look the same because it's pretty boring but on the upside and there's nothing complicated about it. It doesn't turn into turn it doesn't turn into the rocket science projects that were in uh, Diablo two and um uh, early WoW. <clears throat> you know, where I had to go on I had to look at a guy to figure out the best use of my skill points. I mean yeah, you, you could put all your skill points on one tree, but then again you're just you're just basically doing what they do now in Final Fantasy fourteen, every character looking you know, every every class the same, you know, so Sorry if that didn't make any sense. I'm, I'm not. None of this was rehearsed, so I'm just. I'm co totally improv in this. Uh, lastly, glamour. Such a beautiful game. With lack of unique looks and armor skins. Um, this I kind of agree with as well. Yeah, cause uh, looking at the gear, you know, like. <clears throat> Level, you know, the level one hemp and cow, the hemp and robe, or hemp and cow, cow, I think it's called. It's the both, both head and body, the hemp and cow, the cotton cow, the velveteen cow, all those cows, they're all the same except different colors. So that would probably, that would probably be another thing I'd change, mainly because it's just a waste. Because I'm naturally, I'm gonna go, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna glamour my stuff into a, into a hemp and cow, a level one, cheap mats, easy to make. You know, I'm not gonna glamour my stuff into a into a level 56 cow that looks exactly the same as a level one, because it's just a waste of money in mats. You know, it gets expensive. Uh, the dive system sucks kind of neutral on it kind of the old saying goes 52 channels but nothing on I'm kind of the same way with that you got all these different colors to choose from but you got none that I really want I mean I want to you know I want I want a pitch black color not not a suit black where or not a pseudo black or an almost black or a semi black color I want jet straight black the game doesn't have it um trying to think what else um, a lot of these uh, a lot of the dives on here in this game require you to I keep it big some of them you have to do a quest for them or you have to at the very least unlock certain beast tribes in order to access their dives or you can go on the market boards and pay what I'm pretty sure is going to be an exorbitant amount of money for them so um one change I'd probably make to that. Maybe add a much stronger crafting element to it. Like, don't just make uh, gray pigment, you know, one gray pigment rakes different types of, you know, blue dye. Why not be able to mix and match? Use, like, gray pigment, yellow pigment, or, you know, orange pigment. Combine them all together to make this particular dye. You know, maybe give you more options on it. Oh yeah, oh 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 oh. That's an, this is another thing that I like about Final Fantasy fourteen. Everything doable on a single character. You can level all your classes on one guy. Um, Runesc Runescape was the same way. You can level all your skills and classes on one character. Uh, unfortunately, in WoW, you can't do that. You can only have one class per character, which just makes it makes it a big time logistical nightmare. You know, you because in, in WoW, on top of that, you could only have two uh, gathering crafting classes on one character. So that just makes it a that just makes it a major pain in the butt. Because, gee, I want to make a 
I want to make steel plate armor, but in order to do that, I gotta go on this guy, I gotta go on this guy over here, who's my miner, I gotta go out and mine stuff and gather, but he's only got two classes, he can only have two classes, so he doesn't have, he doesn't have foraging or blacksmithing or anything here, in order, so I gotta take all this stuff here, I gotta transfer all that to this guy here, that he's got, to this guy over here, because he's the only one I got that can forge it, but, it's been a while since I've been on WoW, but I don't, you can, um, you can melt them into bars, or you can smelt them into bars, but I don't... No, I think you can still make one. That's how it was. It might, you can mine the stuff, and you can smelt it into bars, but you can't actually make anything with it. So you gotta take that, and you gotta send it over to this character over here, who could actually, who could actually, you know, make equipment with it. But you can't... Okay, I'm thinking further. And, uh, but you can't, uh, this person here probably can't enchant the gear. So, you can't, they can't put enchantments on it. So, gotta take that gear, gotta bring it to this person over here that only has enchanting but can't mine this stuff and can't, you know, you get, you get the idea. It is too much of a run around to, you know, just to make like one piece of gear or whatnot. So, so, <laughs> the TLDR version is I like being able to level all my classes on one character. I got kind of a grunt. That's probably one of my complaints too. One of the things I'd like to change is uh, not be not having to dismiss my chocobo just to ride a chocobo bus from point A to point B, or just to have to enter a duty. Although uh, I think Palace of the Dead might be one of the exceptions. You can still have a chocobo with you, and you don't have to you don't have to get rid of your chocobo beforehand. Okay, um, the rest of the, it's pretty much going to be an echo chamber down here. We're probably all going to say everything that he said up here and what I've said as well. So, um, I'll just go ahead and, uh, I'll just go ahead and cut it off. This, I'll just call it good. Yeah, plus I still got to lay down anyway, so. Anyway, thanks for listening.